The Knicks point guard, he was arraigned on two felony weapon possession charges tonight. He was released after posting a $25,000 bond. Uh, Felton is also facing an order of protection against his estranged wife. Knicks point guard's case, it's been postponed until June 2nd. He is allowed to travel with the team. All right, joining us now is our SNY legal analyst, Steve Callis. And Steve, Raymond Felton arraigned on a couple of uh, weapon possession felonies today. But when he was arrested, it was more like three charges he was facing. Not only weapon possession, but a menacing charge for allegedly threaten, threatening his estranged wife. Why was one of the charges dropped? Yeah, it's good to be with you, Brian. That's a good point and a good question. What happened was when you're arrested by the police, they charge you when they take you into the station. He surrendered himself this morning. But between that time and his arraignment, the district attorney gets involved. They look at the charges. They look at the alleged proof. They look at the police report. They look at a number of things. And based on what they, the district attorney's office, saw, they decided to charge Felton with lesser felonies. He was not charged with a Class C felony, which is what Plaxico go Burris was originally charged with a number of years ago. Rather, he was charged with a lesser Class D and Class E felony. And while those two felonies are very serious, in terms of potential jail time, in terms of possible pleading the case down, uh, Raymond Felton, although he may not feel this way, is in a much better position tonight than he was last night when he was arrested and charged. You brought up Plexico Burris. Many have compared this case to Plexico's case, where he spent two years in prison for shooting himself uh, in a nightclub here in the city uh, some years back. How are these cases different? Well, they're only similar in the fact that Plaxico, who committed the crime when he came into New York City with a loaded handgun in his sweatpants or wherever it was, um, he had it outside. He shot himself. That's obviously how he was caught. The only similarities to me are these are famous athletes, obviously, who are now faced with gun charges. But Felton's in a much different position, especially given the fact uh, that he was charged with lesser crimes today. And I think the main issue is going to be, is he going to take the position that wasn't my gun? They have to prove that he possessed this firearm. That's what these charges are based on. And I'm not saying he possessed it or didn't. Obviously, as you know, it was his wife's attorney who brought the gun in, and she claims it's his. He may take the defense and say, it's not mine. I don't know if that's going to fly. But certainly, he's in a better position than Plaxico Burris was a number of years ago. If convicted, what is Raymond Felton looking at? He's in the lower echelon of felonies and will have a chance to plead that down, maybe take a total, I didn't do this, it's not my gun, and get an acquittal. He has more wiggle room than Plaxico had, and I think at the end of the day, I would be very surprised if he served two years. I think there's a chance he'll do some time, but I think uh, he has a much better chance to either get off totally with, you know, fine probation, community sentence, whatever, or maybe a lesser jail term. I don't think he's in the same boat as Plaxico, and although he's in a bad boat, he's not in the boat Plaxico was in. Steve Callis, our SNY legal analyst. Thank you. Great to be with you, Brian.